Hi there. Um, I had a little trouble getting on this morning, but I have been looking for a doorway to show you some things to do with a doorway. Um, one of my students asked, so I'm going to show how to use a doorway to do a couple of uh, yoga stretches. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, let's see if this works. Okay, so I'm using this doorway here. And first, I'm just going to use it to press my back up against it. And I can reach my arms up. I can even reach up, grab the ledge. I know some of you have taller doorways than me, so you cannot grab the ledge. But if you can, you can hold the ledge, descend the heels, oh, and feel this wonderful stretch along the whole body. Then, releasing the heels down, taking your hands onto the other side, then what I like to do is just take my elbows. So, do you see here, my bum is against one side, my elbows are on the other side, and it gives me a nice stretch right here in the shoulder. You'll see that as I go down, right here on my shoulder and neck, I can rest my head on the door. And then coming up, taking another reaching up, grabbing, descending. It's like a traction for my back. And then, taking my hands again, now taking my elbows, I'm now going to slide down, I get my head out of the way, right? And I can just put my head, the back of my head, against the door. Now, as I take the back of my head against the door, it gives me a neck release by giving me the extension, sorry, flexion, of my neck. I can only fit one shoulder at a time, so I did my right shoulder, and now I'm going to try to get my other shoulder. And then, coming on up, climbing up the wall again. Reaching up and then descending down. Now, I can give myself a bit of an inversion here by taking my hands, sliding down, and I'll place my hands down. So my bum is still against the, the doorway. I'm going to press my bum down, take my eyeglasses off, and then I can use the door to climb up so that I'm doing one leg and then the other leg and pushing my back. Then again, one leg reaching up and the other leg reaching up and then just walking my feet down, oh. putting my bum against the wall again. Oh. If the hamstrings aren't happy doing this, you could of course come higher. But if you take your feet away from the door, now I get a hamstring stretch. So this is a nice way to release the back of the legs, support the head. And then coming on up. Now, I can use the doorway to also do a leg stretch. So, I'm gonna take my right leg up and place it on the door. And then 
can walk my leg up the door. So even with my leg bent, the single row, I can just get to, so I'm bending both legs, and now as I straighten both legs any amount, my back goes toward the, the wall, which is, feels really nice. Then I can take my other leg and just pushing against the door. This feels great for the back. If you can lift your leg higher, keep the leg bent, bend both legs. And now I'm gonna straighten both legs. And get a nice leg stretch here. Then you can bend down to pet the kitty. <laughs> but the biggest relief that I find is having your legs against the wall and the top of the head against the other side of the doorway. I find this really grounding for my brain. And of course, doing anything where you can get the support of your back. So my head, and now I'm walking, walking. And as much as possible, get the most of my back onto the doorway. It's like a massage for the back. So that's just a way that I use the door to add a way to bring a prop in. So many people don't have a lot of props. And so um, a lot of people don't even have enough wall space. I find that a lot of us have things on the wall. So we can't, you know, like paintings and things and mirrors. So we can't, um, we can't even use the wall space. So anyway, it's a great way to get some, just a quick stretch. You could do it, you know, coming out of the bathroom or after you brush your teeth or something like that. But the doorway is a great prop and it's a way that you get your energy going. You know, chi, prana, tanagabaten, all that. And see, even she <laughs> enjoyed the sequence, so. See you all later. Um, Monday, I will see you, and I'm gonna be offering a donation-based uh, class next Saturday, Saturday the 18th. I'll put the information um, on my uh, feed. See you soon, have a good weekend, bye.